हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट वर वी डिस्कसिंग यस्तर डे आई थिंक वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन एंड लास्ट पार्ट वी हैव सीन ई टू वर्सेस ई वन हाउ देर इज अ कॉम्पिटिशन एंड वी ऑल्सो Uh, discuss how to differentiate between e1 and the e2 how to recognize that of the thing we have seen as well as we have seen what are the important question may appear in the exam so probable question we have discuss in details so today we are arriving at the end of the this semester's chapter that is a chapter number 6 so today we are going to discuss about the chapter number 6 the name of our chapter number 6 is aromatic electrophilic and nucleophilic substitution reaction aromatic electrophilic and nucleophilic a uh, nucleophilic reaction or substitution reaction we can call it as here near just what we are going to learn first one is the introduction regarding that aromatic compound what type of the aromatic compound is called as a aromatic and what type of the organic compound is called as aliphatic and we know that basically the organic compound mainly divided into as a two type two categories are there <coughs> number 1 is a aliphatic and number 2 is a aromatic compound and as we have already discussed the aromatic behavior of that aromatic compound what type of the compounds are called as aromatic compound and the rest of the compound are called as a aliphatic compound so in the aromatic compound as we have discussed earlier the aromatic compound is cyclic in nature Uh, cyclic in nature planar fully conjugated because it is according to as a hukel's rule the aromatic compound according to as a hukel's rule any cyclic planar fully conjugated and containing 4n plus 2 pi electron are bar known as or or shows are shows aromatic behavior so this type of the compound are called as aromatic and the rest of the compound are called as a aliphatic in nature so again i am saying i am repeating this word aromatic compound according to as a hukel's rule hukel is a scientist name he made certain criteria regarding as aromatic compound what what kind of the aromatic compound should have a this kind of the characteristic or the criteria then and then we can they have a special stability and that's why we can call it as aromatic compound and uh, different aromatic compound but showing as a same uh, characteristic so according to as a hukel's rule any cyclic planar and fully conjugated containing 4n plus 2 pi electron shows aromatic behavior so that is called as a aromatic compound and rest of the compound are called as a aliphatic compound and for example benzene is a simplest example that exhibit or uh, that shows all kind of the whatever criteria are there we know that benzene is a cyclic in nature and there it is a planar when carbon carbon double bond comes that molecule atomic automatically becomes as a planar in nature and third one there should be alternative carbon carbon double bond is fully conjugated and conjugated system carbon carbon double bond single bond they should be present at alternatively and therefore that type of the aro compound is called as a aromatic compound and as we know that benzene is the simplest aromatic compound and how that as we know that the first one is the structure of benzene what type of the structure benzene has according to as a 
के कुल स्ट्रक्चर और हाउ ही बिल्ट ऑफ देर आर द द मालिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ बेंजीन एज वी नो दैट मालिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ बेंजीन इज इक्वल टू सी सिक्स ए सिक्स राइट देर आर सिक्स कार्बन एटम एंड सिक्स हाइड्रोजन एटम and how the cycle is formed and how they are uh, the detailed study of that structure of the benzene we are going to learn here now how to draw that structure suppose there are the uh, two carbon atom i am putting like this and two another cut, uh, carbon atom they are at a corner point you can remember that is square plan and now the six uh, fifth one i am putting here and another six one again i am putting over here so this is a uh, what we can call it uh, we are uh, learning the structure of the benzene so here this carbon atom and this carbon atom joined by the single uh, single bond here also as a single bond you can show here here single bond here also as a single bond all single bond and as we know that carbon atom is here is a cycle is form over right through the sigma bond how many sigma bond each carbon atom is a sp2 hybridization in this case each carbon atom is a sp2 hybridized hybrid hybridized hybridized uh, present over there and uh, when sp2 hybridized are there now these six carbon atom and now there are the six hydrogen atom and six hydrogen atom join to that carbon atom through sigma bond because each carbon atom can form as a three sigma bond look at here two sigma bond with this another two carbon atom and one sigma bond with that hydrogen means there are the three sigma bonds are there and as we know that sigma bonds are form coaxial overlapping and they are the stronger as compared to as a pi bond <coughs> same thing each carbon atom containing as six hydrogen atoms are there so we can show these uh, hydrogen atom in this manner right so this is a <coughs> structure now there are uh, uh, sp2 hybridize sp2 hybridize means what sp2 hybridize carbon atom means here the uh, each carbon atom forming as a three sigma bond let us consider suppose this is a carbon atom uh, one sigma bond with another carbon atom you have another sigma bond with another carbon atom and one sigma bond with that hydrogen atom now remains as a p orbital over there p orbital empty p orbital this and as we know that the shape of the p orbital will be like this so this is a p orbital present over there now each carbon atom have a p orbital so i am drawing that p orbital like this right and when that p orbitals are there p orbital are coaxially overlapping uh, sorry laterally overlapping between that and now how these lobes upper lobes and lower lobes uh, when alternative carbon carbon double bond when we are talking about but these p orbitals are this dumbbell type of the shape we know that and this uh, this is a what we can call it as a pi cloud we can say this is a upper phase we can say this is a lower phase upper phase of this another orbital it can be formed like this or we can show this type of the upper loops they get this because electron is equally distributed entire the entire molecule of this and when this is their upper upper lobes this is upper lobe again is a this is also as upper lobe and this could be the upper lobe means upper lobe they are uh, like this they are present above the plane and below the plane. now look at the lower lobes this is a lower lobe they are forming here this is also as a lower lobe 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 and this one also as a lower lobe and look at here again if you see this there are two rings means as we are writing simply as a here 
suppose as another structure I am drawing so so that you can clearly see this so here the here hydrogen atom we can show hydrogen atom over there hydrogen atom here also as a hydrogen atom and hydrogen atom now here what is happening around this carbon atom one of the current what a cyclic current is developed and this is nothing but as a pi bond and uh, below the plane again below the plane one ring is developed uh, like this and all the hydrogen atom so there are the this is a pi bond pi electron density how the pi bond electron density distributed above the plane this one and this one is a below the plane so there is a uh, ring current or what we can call it a current ring uh, ring current is formed ring uh, current ring or what we can call it this type of the coil the ring current is formed over there current ring current is formed like this and these hydrogen atom they are outside that uh, ring or a distribution of that and generally we are uh, showing the benzene is uh, like this simply this is a structure of benzene alternative carbon carbon double bond and the single bond we are writing or we are writing as a resonating form of this structure like this so let us see uh, let us see me uh, proper structure over here again uh, how we are showing as a benzene benzene generally we are showing like this and as we know that benzene can show us as a resonating structure and as we know that number of resonating structure goes on increasing the stability of that molecule also goes on increasing and therefore this is a first structure and we can draw another structure over here uh, one double bond we can put here another double bond and one double bond over here alternatively they are, this type of the structure are known as canonical structure one and two are known as a canonical structure and uh, this structure we can show like this um, that, 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 that this this electron density or distributed this is a resonance hybrid we can call it as a, this is a resonance resonance hybrid this is a structure of resonance hybrid and means here from this we can conclude or we can infer that the electron density not located on that particular on this uh, case what carbon carbon double bond means this the electron is not located electron density is not located on the single or what we can call it on that particular carbon atom but the electron density is distributed entirely or equally distributed on a six carbon atom and therefore resonance hybrid this strong third structure is a most stable structure of the benzene so all these carbon atom are showing this one is a sp2 hybridization and therefore that molecule become when carbon carbon double bond is there that molecule becomes as a planner and bond angle is found to be as a 120 degree as we know that and this is a cyclic compound right according to as a Huckel's rule right according to as a Huckel's rule what it says that is a 4n plus 2 pi electrons uh, 4n plus 2 pi electron where n is equal to number of yeah n is equal to number of ring if you put here n is equal to 1 what do you get how many pi electron you are going to get n is equal to 1 so 4 into 1 plus 2 is equal to 6 electron you are going to get means benzene is aromatic compound suppose we have a another example suppose you have a this one this compound this is a as we know that this is a naphthalene naphthalene is it the aromatic compound or it is a non aromatic compound again it is a again look at there is a n, n you put n equal to 2 over here because n indicate as a number of rings uh, two rings are there so you can put here 4 into 2 plus 2 is equal to how many uh, 4 into 2 is a uh, 
8 and plus 2 is equal to 10 pi electrons are there, right? 10 pi electron, count here, is there 10 pi electron? Yes, one carbon-carbon double bond is nothing but as a number of two electrons. So, two electron, two electron, two electron, six are there, two, eight and two are the ten. Means that naphthalene also has a aromatic in nature. So, in this way, we can uh, say this is a aromatic compound. Okay, this is all about the structure of the aromatic compound we have seen as a general introduction regarding this. And next point we are going to uh, uh, learn about or discuss about the reaction of aromatic compounds. Now let us look at the reactions of aromatic compounds. Reactions of aromatic compounds. Let me clean the board first and we will talk about the reactions of aromatic compound. Now, second point we are talking about the reactions of reactions, reactions of aromatic compounds. Aromatic, aromatic compounds. Reactions of aromatic compounds. Right? Now, do you remember as a reaction means what? Uh, in an organic compound, there are uh, I think mainly five kind of the reactions are occurring in the organic compound while studying as a reaction mechanism as we know that the reaction mechanism means what a uh, detailed study of sequence of steps which are involved in the conversion of reactant into product is known as a mechanism and mechanism is a language of organic chemistry as we uh, all know and now here the reaction of aromatic compound we are talking before that let us see there are five type of the organic reactions and what are those main five type of the reaction I am talking about number one is addition reaction if you talk about the addition reaction which we have learned in a chapter number four uh, the addition across the carbon carbon double bond or carbon carbon triple bond are the carbonyl group and there we have seen as addition and you, when addition reactions are there you always remember the Markovnikov's rule Markovnikov's rule according to that we are getting how we are getting as a major and minor product that we have seen so there is a addition reaction number two is a uh, number two is a elimination reaction in elimination reaction as a, in a previous lecture we already talk about that elimination reaction how what are the elimination reaction and how they are taking place uh, with the help of their mechanism how to know uh, by considering different type of the factor and we have detailed study of that so number two is a elimination uh, elimination uh, reaction number three is a uh, substitution reaction substitution reaction means what uh, in a, a reaction in which uh, one atom or group of atom are removed from the reactant to uh, get replaced by the uh, atom of the reagent used is known as a substitution reaction only there is a replacement of atom taking place with that type of the reaction are termed as a uh, substitution reaction and this is the third one first one is addition second one is the elimination third one is a substitution fourth one is a rearrangement and fifth one is a redox reaction or we can call it as a oxidation reduction reaction so these are mainly five type of the organic reaction taking place in the organic uh, organic uh, chemistry and these are five and generally while studying as a mechanism two kind of the mechanisms are proceeding one proceeding via ionic and second one through the free radical only two uh, mechanisms are possible uh, means proceeding or following the two routes or the two ways are there one is a ionic mechanism and second one, one, one is called as a free radical mechanism. Sorry. So here the reactions of aromatic compound and in the previous lecture means chapter number 4 we have seen as an addition reaction. Why addition reaction carbon carbon double bonds are present. Now if you see the structure of aromatic compound 
for a reaction to take place or for the initiation of the reaction the reaction to occur there should be a some initiator is required or what we can call it as a suppose as a benzene and as we know that while uh, taking the organic reaction there should be two type of the uh, species must be present over there then and then reaction takes place one is a electrophile and second one is a nucleophile and as we know that electrophile means what and the nucleophiles are there and we know that electrophile are the electron deficient in nature nucleophiles are electron rich in space suppose your starting material your substrate has a nucleophilic in nature then and then your reagent should be electrophilic in nature then and then reaction electrostatic force of attraction is generated and there is a formation and a bond and break you know, uh, making of bond and breaking of bond that kind of the things are taking place otherwise there will be a no reaction remember these two terms are very very essential or the significant as far as the organic chemistry is concerned one is a electrophile and another one is a nucleophile electrophile means what they are the electron deficient species and they are searching for the electron or which we can call it as they are the electron loving species and another one is a nucleophile they are the electron rich species and they are searching for the nucleus or we can call it as a nucleus loving and therefore the attraction between these two species and the reaction takes place now if you talk about as a carbon carbon double bond that benzene also whether that benzene uh, again organic compound is divided into as a saturated and the unsaturated as we know that saturated means what and the unsaturated there are the different uh, chemical tests uh, in the laboratory we are performing for identifying or for recognizing whether the given compound is aromatic in uh, sorry saturated or the unsaturated or theoretically i am talking here theoretically theoretically unsaturated compound means the organic compound containing carbon carbon double bond or the multiple bond that type of the organic compound are termed as unsaturated and saturated compound means what saturated compound there is a carbon carbon single bond the organic compound containing as a, a single bond that type of the organic compound are termed as a uh, are termed as a saturated compound and we know that here in the benzene benzene is a there look at here benzene containing as a carbon carbon double bond what do you think what is the nature of this uh, if you <coughs> what is the nature of this whether it is a nucleophilic in nature or electrophilic in nature and now this benzene simple benzene i am talking about and this simple benzene is a nucleophilic in nature and therefore whatever reagent we are adding the nature of that reagent should be electrophilic in nature then and then reaction is going to take place means that <coughs> at an ordinary at a normal condition the benzene undergoes as a electrophilic substitution reaction understood this they undergoes as a electrophilic substitution reaction and now if you look at here carbon carbon double bonds are there and as we know suppose as a carbon carbon double bond is there this is also as unsaturated and as we know that this is a aliphatic compound and it has a characteristic they undergoes as a addition reaction because there is a carbon carbon double bonds are there and the uh, unsaturated compound the characteristic of this reaction they undergoes as a uh, undergoes as a addition reaction but uh, simi this compound uh, it is uh, even though benzene is uh, unsaturated in nature but it does not undergoes as addition reaction what is the reason what is the reason this benzene does not undergoes as addition reaction even though it containing as a carbon carbon double bond 
द रीजन बिहाइंड इन एडिशनल रिएक्शन व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर फॉर एग्जांपल लेट अस सी हियर Br2 इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ CCl4 कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड एंड वी आर गेटिंग दिस Br2 इज अ ब्राउन इन कलर केमिकल टेस्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्राउन इन कलर एंड व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट हियर Br देन हियर आल्सो एज अ Br and this type of the one to dibromo derivative we are getting. Then the means whatever reagent is adding, it is cons uh, completely consumed by the substrate and yielding the product. That's the addition reaction. But in this case, even though it containing as a uh, <coughs> containing what we can call carbon carbon double bond but if you add here br2 in presence of ccl4 there will be a no reaction no addition reaction takes place at this position br2 ccl4 instead of this the instead of they undergoes as a electrophilic sub, uh, electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution reaction means what one of the Have one of the hydrogen atom get replaced by the electrophile. Electrophile. If you uh, let me draw here separately, here is a hydrogen hydrogen atom, and when we are adding as a electrophile, and we will get this type of the compound over there, electrophile, and plus H plus is uh, out over there. Means this hydrogen atom by adding as a electrophile. they get added means substitution one of the atom from the rea one of the atom from the substrate get replaced by the the reagent added whatever reagent we are adding that get replaced and means here the incoming group incoming group is a electrophile and outgoing group also as a electrophilic in nature means strong electrophile pushing the weak electrophile and this hydrogen atom is a weak electrophile in nature and therefore it is easily goes away and that type of the reaction is called as a electrophilic this kind of the reaction is known as a electrophilic substitution reaction and they do not undergo as a addition reaction the reason behind it what the reason suppose they undergo as a addition reaction let us consider here let us assume if undergo as a addition reaction what you are going to get this double bond and this double bond i am putting here br and there is a br now if you look, if you assume here i am assuming here this one of the carbon carbon double bond you uh, see this is addition reaction in addition reaction what is happening the pi bond is a broken and the new two sigma bonds are formed suppose that is happening this this is aromatic compound right this is aromatic compound benzene is aromatic compound and it is a very stable compound having 36 kilo calorie per mole this is a, that much energy is called as a stabilization energy and this compound becomes as a non aromatic compound and non aromatic compound are very very unstable and therefore unstable and therefore such type of the addition reaction do and when it undergoes as addition reaction it loss uh, its aromaticity and therefore benzene do not undergoes addition reaction always remember why benzene uh, does not undergo addition reaction the reason behind it if it undergoes as addition reaction e, e, uh, e, uh, he uh, addition reaction it loses its aromaticity aromaticity is one of the characteristic of that uh, benzene and therefore it will uh, losing the uh, aromaticity nothing but as the stability of that compound that molecule becomes as a stable one and therefore uh, the characteristic of that aromatic compound that retain its aromaticity and due to this reason the benzene do not undergo as addition reaction because it loses its aromaticity second one it undergo as a electrophilic substitution reaction and this and we have written here is a nucleophilic substitution reaction uh, uh, in a for what we can call it in a special condition they can shows as a addition reaction also 
for example suppose this is a benzene and benzene as we know that in a special condition i am talking about the special condition special condition for example 175 degree centigrade is two in presence of the nickel and 180 atmosphere then and then this benzene undergoes as an addition reaction and we are going to get this is a cyclohexane as we know that benzene having as a molecular formula c6s6 whereas cyclo hexane having as a molecular formula c6 and h12 that is and we know special condition this can undergo as a addition reaction at a normal condition benzene do not undergo addition reaction remember this one and another one the uh, aromatic compound readily undergoes as an electrophilic substitution reaction. Why they readily undergoes as an electrophilic substitution reaction? Because aromatic compound itself, uh, they are the nucleophilic in nature and therefore electrophilic and nucleophilic electrostatic force of attraction is generated and they undergo as a substitute electrophilic substitution reaction another one is a nucleophilic substitution reaction under special condition suppose as a uh, normal benzene do not undergo as a nucleophilic substitution reaction but uh, suppose as a substituted benzenes are there substituted let us see here suppose you have a this one electron withdrawing groups are present like as a you know two groups are present then and then and this type of the molecule because there are two strong electron withdrawing group you know two group cl and when it is treated with oh minus you may get as a nucleophilic substitution reaction OH and NO2. In this way, we can prepare as a nitrophenol but in a special condition. But later, uh, here we have seen some of the characteristic reaction. Two more question may appear here in the exam. So remember why benzene undergoes as a uh, electrophilic substitution reaction why not uh, uh, benzene undergoes as addition reaction or uh, so in uh, why benzene undergo in rare cases only nucleophilic substitution reaction i think with this uh, let us stop today here remaining we will see the uh, general mechanism of the RO electrophilic substitution reaction. I think with this, let us stop today here. Thank you. Have a nice day.